Hey guys, welcome back. We are gonna make some beef trio pinto bean chili today. And I hope you guys are having a great weekend and we're Memorial weekend. So like I said, I hope you're enjoying with your friends, family, whomever, even by yourself and have a relaxing time from work. I will leave the recipe in the down in the description box below. Also hit the subscribe button and ring the bell for more notification and you can cook more with me and make however you want. So I have a Dutch oven here. I think mine's about an eight quart, seven quart, but the recipe calls for a five quart. I don't know fully how to cook small, but I know how to cook large portions, freeze them and have food for some time. So I don't have to go grocery shopping like every week, every other week, you know, sometimes, except for fresh things, you know. And here you're gonna have your Dutch oven heat up about two tablespoons of olive oil. I'm gonna eyeball it. That looks good. <coughs> Sorry if I'm like coughing, sneezing. It's golden rod season, so I'm a little whew, allergy, you know. Then you're gonna add your beef and trio. So hold on, I have it on the other side of the camera here. You're gonna have about a pound and a quarter of ground beef. And we're gonna have about a pound and a quarter of trio. I have pork. And then I also have, I think my beef is not as lean, so. Angry. Ah, be angry. So be careful if you ever do that and put that in there. <laughs> Stay calm. And I got about two packets of these little guys. Let's see if I can even open it. other ingredients for myself and some friends tonight you know I still worked on Memorial weekend but it's okay you know sometimes some times um, places still have work going on so the people who do I hope you're trying to enjoy whatever you can I hope you get tomorrow off so you can relax but also if not just try to relax tonight maybe kick your feet you know, another year went by, or halfway through this year. That's what my mother would always tell me. So excuse me if I'm somewhat in the camera view. Just gonna lock my hands real fast. Okay. Now you're gonna cook the meat up. Just gonna start chunking down the beef and the pork here, kinda get it ground up. You're gonna get it so it cooks, brown brown color, so. And I bet, and I had this recipe, it might be more on the spicier end, so if you don't like spicy, I bet you can adjust dependent on your taste buds and preference, so. All right, get this cooking. I turned the heat down so when the, all that oil came up, it wasn't gonna burn me to bits. There we go. 
Perfect. Now we're getting somewhere here. Now we're cooking. Hello? Trying to shred up some of that meat to make it so it's little baby pieces. So you're gonna cook that until like your meat's nice and brown. It usually takes about five to 10 minutes, depending on how hot your dog driving is. Mine was almost instantly brown. Like, well, you're too hot. So while you're cooking that, Let me just take rid of my garbage. Okay. <laughs> and then once this is nice and brown, Sorry right about this point, you're probably getting it close to about brown right now. You're gonna add your onions and bell pepper. You're gonna have one bell, red bell pepper. And you're gonna also add one onion. You're gonna chop them up, they're gonna look like this. You're gonna add them in here. So they're nice and soft, which is about five minutes. So let's stir that in real fast. And then I will see you once the once the onions, peppers are soft and the meat's cooked a little bit more. I'll see you in a moment and we're gonna have more ingredients. So don't fully go anywhere. I'll see you in a moment. Okay guys, so now that it has cooked a little bit with the cover on for 10 minutes, it has thickened. I already set the timer for another 30 minutes to thicken again. I'm just gonna reduce the heat to let it simmer to cook off some of that moisture. And it's gonna thicken some more. So, just keep an eye on it stir it occasionally, so by the time you can have your chili, I bet this will be wonderful on like hot dogs or something, so let's see what happens. So I will see you in the next 30 minutes or so. See you then. So I'm back guys, it has now thickened, so it's been cooking, simmering for about 40 minutes. So now that that's all happy, simmering, nice and hot, at this point in time, I'm just gonna grab, let it kind of calm down just a whisker. But let me get a bowl. Perfect. Hey. Because I'm trying not to hurt myself. I got burned. Now, move my ladle. Hold on a second. I know, I'm not prepared. Sometimes I am, sometimes I ain't. So I have some friends here. I'm gonna put it on their dogs, but for you guys, I'm gonna skew a little bit. You're gonna put it there. Let me get some sour cream and cheese. Our 
start making quesadillas. I had two packages and one got moldy. Those are a good sign, folks. I haven't been home to cook a lot, so I've been at my job. They cook quite a bit, especially with cheese. Cheese is my favorite. So, got my cheese. Got a big fat spoon. Let's see how this. So, hold on one second, and I'll show you guys. Mix it around in here, just give me a second. Okay, that might be perfect. And some cheese. So there you guys have it. That is the beef trio, trios, chorizos, pinto, chili. So I hope you guys enjoy it. I'm gonna give it a shot. I don't like spicy hot things, but I'm gonna try it. Like I said, I'm always up to try new things. There are some limits I will not cross, but sometimes I will cross them. Like, okay, maybe I'm older now. Maybe I, I like it, like mushrooms I still don't care for. But I'm slowly trying them, slowly trying to see maybe it's just a specific type of mushroom I don't like. Maybe it's that. Um, but when, especially if you want to travel see the world, trying new things now, especially before you're traveling, it's always a great way to get started. So I hope you have a great Memorial Day weekend. And on top of that, have fun, try new things, new experience, and always be kind. And don't worry about anything. When you're cooking, it's just not science. You're kind of seeing if you like it, maybe you might need more salt. You can always write the recipe down and adjust to how you go. So like I said, have fun with it. Always make it with family and friends. And remember, it's a fun experience. Don't make it ever miserable. I will see you guys next time. I hope you guys enjoy your weekend. And see you all soon. Bye, everybody.